This is no ordinary Air Italia flight. On board, Pope Francis as he arrived in East Cuba Monday for the second mass in his trip. Thousands lined the street as he made his way to Olguin City. It's known as a cradle of Catholic faith and also where communist brothers Fidel and Raul Castro grew up. It's a pope's first visit to Olguin as he's been celebrated for helping bridge the gap between the U.S. and Cuba. I think that this time is very important because of the fact that the United States and Cuba are opening doors to each other. Thousands stood in hot temperatures to hear his message of God's mercy. He ended his homily saying, I beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all lowliness and meekness, forbearing one another in love. After Olguin, the Pope traveled to Santiago de Cuba. He's expected to speak with bishops and hold another mass before leaving Cuba Tuesday afternoon for Washington, the first stop on his six-day U.S. tour. In Washington, the Pope will be met by President Obama and will address Congress. In New York, the Vatican will raise its flag at the U.N., and the Pope will speak before the General Assembly about poverty, justice, and climate change. That will be followed by a mass for 20,000 people at Madison Square Garden in New York City. Obviously, there's a lot of last-minute details. So today, tomorrow, uh, uh, I'm, I'm just going to go around and make sure everything's okay. Do some. I got a couple of rehearsals myself for some of the masses, the vespers at uh, at St. Patrick's Cathedral. He'll end his U.S. visit in Philadelphia, where hundreds of thousands will fill the city center. See you in Philadelphia. Awaiting the Pope's arrival, these inmates who are polishing the papal chair for his visit to a Philadelphia prison. And nuns are working around the clock to make more than 100,000 communion wafers for Mass. We've been preparing for this event for the last couple months. One and a half million Catholics are expected to see the Pope cap off his historic visit to the U.S., celebrating life and family in the city of brotherly love. Jonathan Betts, Al Jazeera, New York.